Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Priscilla. I'm Priscilla. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and hit that bell notification for our next video. So today we are making taco bowls, guys. So this is about my maybe third or fourth time making taco bowls. So let's get into this. And we're doing it with grid. So y'all already know I'm using an electric stove and a toaster oven. So let's see what we need to make this. I have some lettuce here some grape tomatoes, as well as some green onions, some small tortillas. I, I got about 24 of them. They're only a dollar at Dollar Tree. Some Walmart Great Value taco seasoning. I really love this mix. It's really good. As well as some ground beef from there and some black beans. I'm going to use parboiled rice. I love putting peppers inside of my um, taco meat. So peppers and green onions it's bomb try it if you haven't tried it try it but let's get into this let's see how we make this and mix this up before i cut up my vegetables i'm going to put two cups of rice so every one cup of rice that you put in here you use two cups of water i also added some salt and a little bit of vegetable oil so i'm going to mix this up and we have the fire on like medium so let's mix this up and put the top on and now we're gonna cut up the vegetables. What I usually do with my green onions is cut it to about this point right here and then I just stick it in some water so they can regrow or I just simply just stick it in some soil, which I'm gonna do. That's simple, one, two, three. Regrow vegetables from the grocery store, guys. So, of course I'm using my Pioneer Woman knife. Guys, I still didn't buy a better cutting board, but I'm using what I got right now. And it is doing the job. So, I'm going to cut up my green pepper right now. Well, my colorful rainbow peppers. I'm going to use orange and yellow to give it like a nice little color. So, we have our green peppers right here. I'm going to cut them. And, of course, I'm going to save the seeds. And I pray that, you know... Seeds grow. Oh, got some seeds in there. It's all right, guys. This is how I cut. Please don't go crazy in the comments. This is how I cut. I told you I'm not an expert cutter. I just try to get the job done. You know. I do like these knives though. Not be talking about me the way I cut, okay? Matter of fact, I'm gonna use one pepper. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna put the other one back. And later I'm gonna cut the tomatoes and lettuce. Put those back in the refrigerator so it could be nice and cold. And right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the chopped meat and the beans. These are the great value black beans, and this is what they look like when you open it up. They do have this pull tab, which is easy to use, this pull tab right here. And now we're going to put it inside of the pot. I'm going to season this up with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some onion powder. I'm going to add a dash of salt in there, as well as some pepper, onion powder, and some garlic powder and I'll let these cook for about 30 minutes and that's it guys I'll add a little bit of butter in it and call it a day and how can I forget Vadia complete mix it up and let it sit put the top on it I wanted to show you the seasonings that I'm going to use for the chopped meat which is onion powder garlic powder salt Badia complete, black pepper, and of course the taco seasoning mix. I'm about to add the green onions and as well as the peppers. Put the oil in there. I love the way onions and peppers smell when they're cooking. I mean, it smells so good. All right, let me get this. I'm going to um, let this cook for like maybe 30 seconds to a minute. 
And of course, we are cooking on our beautiful electric stove today, as well as our camper stove and our beautiful toaster oven. Now I'm going to add my ground beef inside of the pan. Guys, this is so easy. This is why I buy this one, not the one in the package. You just squeeze it and the chopped meat comes out like so. I'm going to chop this up before I put my seasoning in it. Spread it throughout the pan. And I will lower the fire a notch. Well, first we're going to add some onion powder. I love onion powder, so I'm going to put a nice amount. Some garlic powder. That as well, I love that. It's very healthy. Nice amount of salt. And of course, the beer complete. And some pepper. So now I'm going to mix up the ground beef. And make sure to adjust your electric stove. Because I told you, it's not like the gas stove. It goes up, it goes down. It's way different. But this is an easy, quick meal. Maybe 30 to 45 minutes. And it's simple. Easy. Now about to drain the fat off the beef. And I want to show you the rice. It's boiling. As well as the bean. I'm going to add the taco mix on the ground beef right now. And it doesn't tell you how much water to add. It's like a good pack too, like a aluminum pack. So if you are prepping, store this. The uh, Great Value Taco is aluminum, so it will store well. And as you can see, they give you a lot of taco mix in there. I'm going to show you the inside of the pack. Let me just add some water. I'm going to add as much as I think because they don't tell you what to add. So there you go. Let's mix it up now starting to smell like taco so we'll see all right I wanted to show you the inside of this package so if you want to store this this is good for storage because it has aluminum in it and it's like vacuum sealed so this is a good thing to get if you're prepping and I feel like everybody should be prepping so start prepping guys this is the ground beef I added one fourth cup of water that's what I did and it looks amazing it really does all right, so I'm gonna cut the lettuce now. I washed it off, of course. This should be a good amount because Jayden does not eat lettuce. Jayden doesn't eat anything, as y'all can tell. And now I'm gonna cut up the tomatoes. All right, so I'm just gonna cut these in half. These grape tomatoes, one ran away. I have to go find them. <laughs> For real. All right, that is it. Now I'm gonna put the tortillas inside of the toaster oven and I am done. This is the tomatoes and the lettuce. And we have the beans right here. They are absolutely done. So let's go to heat up these tortillas right here. So now I'm ready to put my tortillas in the oven. I have the aluminum foil on it for protection so it doesn't stick. And guys, let's see what happens. I have the temperature on 250 and we have it on 10 minutes. But I'm not going to leave it on 10 minutes. I'm going to stay here and watch it as well. I really want to put it in this middle one, but that middle will not work. And only two tortillas at a time fit. So, you got to be patient. It is done, and this is how it looks. So, let's put this in the bowl, and let's make this taco bowl. First, we place the taco in the bowl, and we put it down like so. I like these little Dollar Tree bowls, because it makes it an actual taco bowl. So, first, we're going to add our rice. Let me get my spoon. We're going to add the rice to the taco bowl so we added some taco meat and now we're going to add some beans guys this is my taco bowl and it looks and smells amazing i absolutely forgot the sour cream 
but this is good as it is. So please try this at home for a quick meal. This took about 35 to 40 minutes. So stay safe guys and God bless.